The final component that we want to attach to the Pixhawk flight controller is the Turnigy 9X receiver. And in order to do that, we first have to connect it to what's called a PPM encoder. Now, if you ask me, this particular PPM encoder uh, seems to me that the terminals are upside down. I'll, I'll tell you why. When we connect the, the wires to each channel, we have our signal wires on the top row of pins. That's the white wire. The white wire is our signal wire. And when, when you connect it, it's very important that it is on the top row of pins because that row of pins is, are the, is the row of pins that provide the signal from the radio. However, when you go to connect it to the PPM encoder, you have to give each one of these wires a twist so that the white signal wire is on the bottom. And now this is looking at the PPM encoder from the underside. So you have to give the, each connector a twist so that the white signal wire is on the bottom when you're looking at the underside of the encoder. Now you may be asking yourself, why are we looking at the underside of the encoder? Well, that's a good question. I don't know if you can see here. Let me get a little pointer. I don't know if you can see, but if you are on the website or want to visit our website, you'll see a close-up photograph. On the bottom side of the encoder, you're going to notice that it says channel 1 here and channel 8 here. So then we've got channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and so on and so forth up to channel 8. Well, when we connect channel 1 from the receiver to channel 1 on the encoder, we want to do that in a straight line. We don't, don't want wires crisscrossing one another. I don't even know if you could do it, to be honest with you. Uh, but going from channel 1 to channel 1 over here, uh, that would make a heck of a mess. So when we look at the underside of it, we see that channel 1 is here, channel 2, channel 3, so on and so forth, and channel 8 is over here. On the receiver, we've got channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 going this way. So when we connect the connectors, we have to go from channel 1 to channel 1, and you want to be in a, a fairly straight line. And that's where, where I think that this encoder is, the terminals are actually upside down, to be quite honest with you, because our signal wire, our white wire, has to be on the top row of the receiver. And then we have to give it a twist so that the signal wire is on the bottom row of the encoder. And that's what a lot of people uh, gives, a, gives people a, a lot of grief when they're trying to connect the Turnigy radio to the encoder. Once we have that uh, step in place, and let me mention, um, these con servo connector wires, you're going to have to buy, they're a three wire, you're gonna to have to buy uh, them separately, a package of 10, um, because none of these components come with these connector wires. Once you have the receiver and the encoder wired together, then we can uh, connect the output signal, and this is what the set of pins that we'll use. Um, this is the set of pins that will go to the Pixhawk flight controller. Now, if you look very, very carefully on the encoder, there's one that says auxiliary and I think it says auxiliary. I, I can't tell without my glasses, but this row of pins that says PPM. So looking at the encoder from this angle, this says PPM, so you have to connect your servo wire, your servo wire to this set of pins. When you do that, you also need to keep the white wires in line. So the white wire from the output has to go on the bottom pin when you're looking at the encoder from the underside. All right, now let us get our demo frame.
then you're going to take the, this end of the servo connector, you're going to take this end of the servo connector and you're going to connect it to the RC terminal on the Pixhawk, not the signal bus, the RC. And when you do that, you also need to make sure that the white wire is on the bottom row of pins. Now we'll just take this and we'll set it alongside. 